Hey guys, we're back. I'm Rick. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. We're back. With Batman! The yes. animated series. Batman. I don't know Batman. what happened last time. Last time, Clayface returned. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, he was in like this little mold thing, that, like an action figure. Yeah. And uh, Batman Turned got in. eaten by him. It was like, Bleh, which was really cool. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Thing. It was pretty messed up, too. Yeah. Like, he was going to suffocate Batman inside of him. Yeah. 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 But, and then Batman threw him off a cliff. Well, not really. He tried to save him, but then he was like, oh. He did. He was all muddy in the it rain. Was, it was raining. And so he, now, yeah. now he's dead. He's so Batman's cleaning up the streets. He diffused him in seawater. We were kind of off the streets, somewhere outside of. The, we were, felt like we weren't in Gotham, Gotham right yeah, there. Yeah, no. Like we went away to a cliff. Yeah. So I've never seen Batman with a broom. Why would he have a broom? Cleaning up the streets. I don't like this. Oh. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you to this episode. On oh, my YouTube feed was like, how tattoos work. And there was like a thumbnail. I don't get too bothered by needles, but I saw the thumbnail. I was like, that's too much for me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I've seen that video. I watched the video. <laughs> Emergency vehicle. Pull over and let him by. Don't pull over in a tunnel. Oh yeah. no, guns. <laughs> Luckily, it's an armored truck. <laughs> that guy's so shocked and scared at him. Like, do something. Stop shooting at me. What? Now a grenade right in the window? Man, that guy. What is... a throw. Captain Ahab is such a good throw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess, right? He got the whale, right? Like uh, Buck from Ben Brothers. I just mean because of his beard and yeah, the hat. Yeah, I know. And... <laughs> but, like, you gotta spear that whale. What are these? Are these guys, like, money deliverers? Yeah, it's an armored truck, right? Is that what the D stands for? Is dollar? Dinkby? De Niro. That's it. Oh man, they're playing that one game where you go around the corner and smash the guy. <laughs> How do you play that game? I played that game. Yeah. It looks no. less like Captain Ahab and more like the guy on the uh... That guy looks like his eyes are closed. Oh my gosh! Sorry, Rick, what? No, it's alright. Oh, kid's gonna get that. It's shattered. It's okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Dude, he landed on his feet. Now you can't see anything except my dick. <laughs> <laughs> the bulge. Oh, I can't believe, man. He stayed on. Yeah. That's so dangerous, Batman. Okay. That guy's name is Chubb. <laughs> I love watching Batman just like, own fools. Yeah, he's just, just ooh. okay. I don't like that. Laser. Laser. Oh, he shot off his ear. Oh. oh my gosh, they beat Batman. That guy manhandled Batman. Good for these guys. Nobody could take that fall and live. All right, grapple hook. <laughs> okay. There we I was go. wondering what that thing stretched across <laughs> the water was. Man, huh. I was just talking about how I love watching him just like yes. handle these fools. No more fingerprints, Doc. Ever? Oh, that's what they're doing with it. Not on your best day, Jake. Oh, it's, uh, what's Cover his name? my back if I were you. Oh, yeah. Cody? <laughs> no. Thorn. Yeah. Thorn. After all, nothing's too good for my brother, the crime doctor. That's oh, what you great. call him? Laser. Even though you act like an ungrateful punk. What I oh. want is to be a real doctor, Rupert. A respectable practice. I would have reported that bullet to the police, as I was supposed to. But no, you insisted. So you could. Oh. Heart attack. Fox die. Fox. No, he's not cool enough. Table with Stat. Stat, you pick up that man. Alone. That was from the memorial free clinic. Hmm. It's just the flu. You know this later, right? Yep. Keep him in bed a few days, and he'll be fine. It's Batman's doctor. Wrestling really took it out. Just of him. a minor concussion, probably from the fall. Get enough of those. No longer mine. Your father, God rest him. He called you stubborn from the day you were born. Hmm. Half, stay in bed the whole day. Understand? <laughs> right. Right. The tube was pressing against the aorta, restricting the flow of blood as your Dang. There must be somebody you could get to help you. No. No, they never work with me, not voluntarily. This is a free clinic, doctor. What's your license? Hmm. 
to face it myself. Uh. His name is Tompkins. <gasps> Need bigger locks, better doors. Get out, or so help me, I'll knock your brains across the street. <laughs> I might have gone for the phone. <laughs> I don't know. They're pretty big. Mott. Got hmm. friend zoned. Thorn. Look, there'll be a lot of money in it for you. I know what kind of money that is. Get out. I'm sorry you feel that way. I like the shadows. Mm -hmm. oh, I like the shadows. Uh, I like the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> two hours later. No, two times zoom. <sighs> yeah, two hundred times zoom. I like the bandage on his head. You're mm -hmm. not in bed. What would Thorn want with a surgical laser? To defeat Batman, clearly, because it worked. If Rupert says he can get me my license back, I meant, do you believe he will? Of course, he's my brother. It's your brother who needs a doctor on his payroll. Left her purse. Sees the back of the picture though. Yep. Yes, I believe your father mentioned him. One of their colleagues in medical school. Let's be Any medical school friends yearbook. Or, uh, Call themselves the Three Musketeers, in fact. Matthew Thorne? They went better than I could have hoped. I I owe everything to you, Leslie. I don't know how I can repay you. We can't let her talk about this place, see? Before he went under, Mr. Thorne said to us, when it's over, make sure you shut her up. Well, that's mean. Mm-hmm. He still has broken ear. <gasps> Oh man, how did, that is a great guard, dude. He knew. Yeah. I don't know how he knew, but he knew. Batman's um, off this game, man. Batman Cushions. Cussed twice. Where'd Thorn go? Three times. <gasps> Again? Oh. Oh. So that was a laser. Worse! Ah! Oh no. I was hoping it was a bunch of syringes. I am glad it's not. Oh, the irony. Okay, it is the laser. He just wasn't using it yet, huh? Oh my gosh. Cut the building in half. Yes. Oh, look how long that is. Oh, it's like the Terminator 2 stuff. It'll be cleaner this way. It'll look like she had a heart attack. Give him it. It's weird. If he had just turned faster, he would yeah, have killed Batman. I'm like, is it hard to turn that as fast as you can? Or? It's like a lightsaber, right? If you're not attuned to it, it's... Like, does it's it have not, weight? It's not a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, took him out. Uh, pulling Elsa. Oh, How did he break out? Man, that is an experience. This is the best, like, grunt dude he's ever had to fight, I think. Well, he's also severely concussed. Yeah, sure. Not exactly at peak. Yeah, but I mean, even when he was blind, he still beat up guys better than he did right now. This guy is formidable. He should have trained concussed so he would know what's happening. Inject chop chop! Inject chop! Why would you clean it? Clean it. <laughs> Come on! Well, he wanted, oh, yes! he wanted it to look like a heart attack. So you wouldn't want any signs of infection. She'd be dead before she got infected. Yeah, but then it would be ruled a murder. Because you would find the infection of oh, the. You would find the, the needle hole easier. Oh, it's just a sedative. We've got to get you out of here. What about your brother? Your license? Forget it. It's not worth someone's life. Now you're talking like a doctor. I don't know. Nina you know, Jones was a doctor and he killed a bunch of people. It's accurate. Yeah, but they were mostly Nazis. Yeah, but they were mostly. Were bad. <laughs> yeah, mostly. <laughs> Chubb! I don't think his name's Chubb. Jake! I got a Chubb in here. What? <laughs> it's on the floor! <laughs> Going up? Are we in the basement? Floor 15. So why are we going up? To the roof! Man, oh! Cool. Saw that coming a mile away. Yeah, but it was a small hallway. You know what? Up might be a good idea because it takes them longer to go upstairs. They're headed for the roof! <gasps> oh, <laughs> shit! I love shadows! <laughs> oh. What are you shooting at? Boom. Kick it. I got at least burst it. Fart spray! He stood oh. there and stared at it. Oh man, he's using his hat as an improvised gas mask. Oh no, dude, this guy, this guy's good. You were in an elevator already, use it. Right? Yeah, but it's going down. Damn it, somebody already called it. 
in the lobby. He's beginning no, to believe. Matt. Oh. Your turn, Leslie. She's wearing heels. Take him off. Now you can. Go. <laughs> Jump. He's a bad shot. Maybe it's the. Grab her. Oh. He climbed up the chimney. Yes. It's the reverse Santa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing you pain. Not presents. Jump with your concussion. Man, Shoot thing. her in the leg with the grappling hook. Oh, I guess that works too. This isn't fun. Ooh. Cool. Oh. I told you I could help you with your legal costs. Maybe even put in a good word with the judge. Yes, but what do you get out of it? Well, there is something you can do for me. I knew it. I knew there'd be a catch. I love that voice too. Oh, it's bugging me. I know. Tell me about my father. Man, it's such a, like a sad Bruce Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> and the door vanished. Joseph Campanella. <gasps> That's what it is! Dr. Kirk Connors from Spider-Man 90s animated series. I'm like, that voice reminds me of something, I can't place it. And once I saw Kirk Connors, I'm like, That's it. He was Dr. Kirk Connors. Typecast as a superhero doctor. As a doctor, yeah. yeah. Huh. But that's, that's what it was. Because I'm like, I know that voice, but what is it? He was in Days of Our Lives, The Bold Ones. Mannix, Guiding Light, Bold and the Beautiful. Was he also a doctor in all those soap operas? Well, his cover photo yep. is him in there a lab go. coat and with a stethoscope. <laughs> I so, wonder if that's... Huh. Yeah, he probably played a lot of doctors. He was typecasted. He, discovered, uh, he narrated the Discover Science series on the Disney Channel from 92 to 94. Hmm. And Lizard. Yeah. Lizard. Yeah. Kirk Dr. Connors. Kirk Connors, yeah. man. That's cool. Yeah, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, that's it. That's the voice. Because I kept thinking, I thought about that. I'm like, it's not J. Jonah Jameson. We've had him. That's Ed Asner. I'm like, is it something from Spider-Man? It's a voice. It's a voice somewhere. I can't picture a face. I can, picture, I can hear the voice, though. The voice is so familiar. Uh, no, this is interesting. Rupert just vanished down that hallway. He did. I don't know where he ended up. I don't know if Batman got him or anything, but. That guy probably, like, just. Rolled him into the elevator and grabbed another one. Yeah, threw it at him. Or he just dumped him off. <laughs> <laughs> he just dumped him off down the trash chute. I, I like these are some of the most capable grunts that we've had. I feel like. Yeah, like physically, they were standing up to Batman. Yeah, Batman in the past has thrown men from, just picked them up and thrown them across the room, <laughs> and they're like twice that. as big as him. <laughs> but like the car one at first, I'm like, oh man, him just taking care of these guys is so fun. Yeah. But then he lost. And then the, like, oh, dang, the turn okay. is tabled. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And that one guy the, pushing the cart, like, he he knew Batman came down those steps somehow. He, he was, just, like, standing around the corner <laughs> waiting for him. Like, I guess the concussion and stuff is just he's off his game, so he's not as stealthy as he should be or something. Which they showed that with, like, some of the double vision or quadruple vision or whatever yeah. he was getting and stuff, too, which is cool. Shooting at him with a medical laser. Yeah. But I do, like... And I said it during the thing, but the, some of the uses of shadows that they do in this show is just done really well. Like, I know, like, they start with, like, a black piece of paper, right? Rather yeah. than a white piece of paper. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's starting dark to begin with. Um, but just having those, like, like, like shadowing, showing the darkness that they're in because, like, the lamp falls over and stuff. So, like, they, they're kind of grayed out and whatnot. But then you get and to having still the, the shadows on the wall. The up light. Yeah. But That's then you really pan cool. away from it and you can't see what's actually happening. Yeah. But you can still see the, sh the struggle on the wall and I, I just think that's really cool. And it's a good way too of like, I don't know, horror and different things have done it or if you like, well, I don't have a ton of money to really show this but we can show shadows which is like a way of the you imagination. can get some gruesome moments. Yeah. The, yeah, the imagination. It's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre where you like hook them. Like you show the hook you show the action, but you don't show the actual gore part, yeah. and your brain just like, oh, you know, like it's just it's done really well, and I like I like the usage of that. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like they didn't show that needle going in, but yeah, like I grimaced. Dead. Yeah, I almost would have punched out. <laughs> <laughs> but I like how like he's he plugs the guy holding her, 
Through the, sh through the jacket. Yep. Just imagining being in like a psychiatry ward or whatever and like holding someone and like they're struggling and then they miss and then it gets you. Uh, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just get him in the ass. I don't care. <laughs> I Terminator 2. Yeah. Terminator There's two. a part in that that I just hate. Yeah. Oh. It's yeah. there forever. It is. And it's like the, the plunge is the dangerous part because it's already yeah. in. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> just, just move on. <laughs> just let her go. I'm gonna skip this chapter on my DVD. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I know. Okay, I get the point. Let's get to the shooting. <laughs> oh man. I love it when, like, in the middle of a fight, someone sticks somebody and like injects them, but then like leaves the syringe in, and it's just like dangling out of them, flopping around <laughs> like that. Uh, I don't like that. Terrible. Uh, Matthew Thorne lost his license taking a bullet out of his brother. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then his brother just utilized him for his criminal organization. Uses him, yeah. Called like, him the crime doctor. Like, tried to give him, like, a cool name, yeah, you know? Yeah, sure. Oh, the like, crime doctor. You knew what I became before you pulled that slug out of me. Mm hmm Blaming him, almost. Yeah. And it's like, well, and, like, he still had the idea, like, he's saving lives. That's his goal. Yeah, sure. Right? If a criminal came in with a gunshot wound, you're going to save him. Yeah. But you're supposed to report it, and he's like, no, you're not going to report this, and... Yeah. Now I got into more issues. I do like seeing Leslie again. Mm -hmm. When I saw yeah. her, I'm like, wait, we've seen her before. Whenever they're gonna blow up all the the town or whatever that one. Yeah. Time, I remember that. She should have put a that sock. That was Thorn too, bat. wasn't it? I think it was Thorn. Yeah. She should have put a sock on the bat. That was her biggest mistake. Mm -hmm. That was. That was true. Your Big mistake. Your defense bat that you need to have. You put a sock on, so it still hurts when you hit. But if they try to grab it, now they just got a sock because it slides off. I put batteries in the sock on the bat. Why? Because then when it flies off and it hits him in the face. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to use it as a projectile. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, it's like a mace, right? If you get yeah. a tight sock and put batteries, like D cell batteries on it, it's like lumpy and shit. And then yes. if, if you hit them hard enough and the battery breaks, then they have acid on them. <laughs> I've, I've never done anything with a battery to break it to make the acid to just. Come it out. doesn't really work like that. It's more of a paste. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like I like the episode. I like having the cool like car chase moment and everything with Batman. I like the usage of the shadows. Mm -hmm. I like the connection with the parents. Yeah. Like it's adding like this is why he knows Leslie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like there's just more connection there, and even him being like, I want you to tell me about my dad because you guys were best friends. Like what kind of stories can you tell me about my sure. father and stuff? And I was like, oh man. Back in his stay university here. Days. Let me see this part too. You know. Yeah. And the level when people get beat up in hospitals. What? It's humorously ironic. Yeah. You like him attacking him with, like, the medical box? The first aid kit? Yeah, whatever. that's great. Last aid kit. <laughs> <laughs> Last one you'll ever need. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching Batman with us. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe because there's a new episode here every week. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also more available with full length and early access over at patreon.com slash blindwave and or blindwave.com. You find links down below in the description. We'll see you guys in the next Batman. I mean, are there 64 already? <laughs>